I just got this off Amazon for really cheap, Amazon Canada. It was uh, about 110 Canadian dollars, which is about 70, 75 American, somewhere around there. Uh, it's a Lexar portable SSD. Um, it's a SATA SSD, so it's not gonna be as fast as an NVMe. So look at the size of it first. Um, so you get USB-C cable, uh, USB-C to C cable, which will be your fastest. And then you get a USB-C to A cable. Um, both of these should be able to do, in theory, to 3.1. So in theory, you're gonna get the max speed out of it, or close enough, like 550 megabytes a second. You'll get pretty close out of your cable. But if you're worried, you just use the USB-C. So it's actually a very tiny little thing. So you can see how small it is there. Uh, it's plastic, but it feels kind of metally. The quality of it feels really good. It's you know, nice and sturdy, but compared to a normal 2.5 inch SATA SSD. So from what I understand, this is not an NVMe drive or an M.2 in here. It's actually just a SATA SSD inside. It's just that it's, uh, you know, uh, the form factor is really reduced basically. Right. Um, so something like this should perform really well for, you know, Series X, Series S, PS5, PS4, whatever you have, Steam Deck, all of these things, laptop, compu like a desktop computer, laptop computer. You can store your games on here and they're going to be really, really fast. And these are, this was super cheap, which is nice. One cool thing you can do with these in, in theory, and I'm going to actually test this, is you can open this up, take out the internals and actually use it as a SATA SSD. Put it inside a laptop or a computer, as long as it's, you know, a 2.5 inch, or of course you can use it externally. So I'm gonna actually open it up and have a look inside. But uh, let's, see which in let's see what's inside. There we go. So inside is, make sure, yeah, to the top can come right off, no problem. So that's just a little enclosure and you can see inside there, that's a SATA SSD. Not an NVMe style, like this here, you know, the long M.2 um, SATA SSD. This is basically, if you were to open up one of these here, and one of these SATA SSDs here, you're gonna get almost an identical thing here. So you can see you have the interface there, that controller right there, they're the same. This here is just the USB controller. So this is gonna be basically this here. So if we cover that up, that is that, there's no difference there. NVMe, this is a SATA SSD controller. This is a SATA SSD controller. And what it basically does is it converts it to USB. In this case, it converts it to one of these, whatever, you know, these little devices here. And this one here is gonna be converted to USB-C. So that's all that is there. So really, you can actually just take this out. And this is a SATA. Okay, there you go, that's out now. And you see this here. Be careful when I take it out. Make sure there's no hooks. No, there's not. There you go. That's a SATA SSD. That's a 2.5 inch SATA SSD. It's basically that. See, that's identical. So that's what's inside of this, a 2.5 inch SATA SSD. So this is, you know, Lexar. I'm not sure specifically what model it is, but it's a Lexar drive. You can see that there. So, you know, just to prove my point, I'm actually going to go like this here. And uh, oops, it's upside down. And then I'm going to plug it into my computer. If I can find the cable. So you can see right there. Right away it was recognized. SATA, 2.5 inch SATA SSD inside of this drive here, which is really awesome. Um, and then you get a USB-C controller. So there's a couple things you could do here. You could certainly just use it as it is. You know, get this drive, use it on a day-to-day basis, day -day basis. You get two terabytes of pretty fast storage, the same as any other SATA drive. Great for game libraries. You could use it with your laptop. You could, you know, if you have a console, Series X or something like that, this is as fast as you're going to need for external storage. You can't benefit from something that does double the speed anyways because the interface of the USB on the Series X can't do that much speed anyways. So something like this is perfect. You get more storage and it's cheaper. Um, may not be as reliable, but for games, you're not reading and writing, reading and writing, reading and writing constantly. You're actually reading more. So the wear and tear on this drive should be very minimal when it comes to a gaming library. So that's really good. Option number two, open it up, uh, and then you get a really cool USB-C to uh, SATA. So I can use this on any computer now. I could use this right here, plug it into that, and then I could use this instead of that plastic exposure enclosure, and then have a USB-C format instead, which is really cool. That's awesome. You get one of these out of it. 
And then you can take this, the storage out that I did and put it inside of your computer, which is really cool. So there's a lot of things you can do with these. You can shuck them and take out the drive itself and the little converter and put it in whatever computer you want. Or you could just use it as is, you know, keep it as it was and use it as, you know, game storage. That's probably what I'd recommend it for or, you know, pretty portable storage. So, okay, and there we go. The drive is back together. And, uh, you know, other than some minor scarring on there, it's good to go. So for my purposes, this is going to be perfect for my Series X, 75 American dollars. Um, and it's a good drive from what I can tell. Uh, that's going to be awesome.